human-computer interaction is quite an interesting topic for us. It's been around for a while, but I think it's only now that it's really starting to take off. And our interest is in developing more intelligent autonomous devices that are able to understand and interact with humans in a way that's useful for humans. We initially started using photometric stereo for industrial applications, where we were looking to find defects on difficult surfaces such as this. This tile contains a deep three-dimensional topography, which is camouflaged by this two-dimensional coloured pattern. And so what we were able to do is isolate the two and then quantify them. After we did that, we started to realise that maybe there could be other applications where we're interested in topography as well, and one of which is in skin cancer. So we developed this device, which also uses photometric stereo, and we've been using this for a number of years with the pigmented lesion clinic. And the idea here is to look for a correlation between disruptions in the skin line pattern, the pattern of polygons that we all have on our skin, and the presence of melanoma. Okay, this is the PhotoFace device, our 3D face capture and recognition system. Um, as somebody walks past this ultrasound trigger, it fires off these five near-infrared light sources uh, and a synchronous camera acquisition. From this, we can estimate the surface orientation at each pixel, and from that, we can integrate to form a surface. And what we want to do here is to build a demonstrator system that can recognise uh, demographic data. So, for example, it can tell whether a person is male or female, their gender, roughly their age, and maybe even how interested they are in the advertisements that are being displayed on an electronic board and then maybe alter those advertisements to make them more interesting and more useful for people so we don't get bombarded with irrelevant material. Okay, so what we're doing here is uh, applying the photometric stereo method to uh, 3D facial expression recognition. Um, what we're specifically looking for in this work is uh, subtle expressions um, which occur naturally. So the experiment it has two components. Uh, the first part of the experiment is to capture natural subtle expressions that occur in everyday situations. And the second component is then to analyze the prototypic expressions. Uh, and these tend to be exaggerated um, and we're developing algorithms to try and recognize both subtle and, and um, post expressions. So what we do here is capture the evolution of changes in facial shape. And we've been working with a group at Bristol University to see if we can use this to detect uh, depression in some of their patients. So the idea here is that the way a depressed person may smile will be different from somebody who isn't depressed. So the evolution of this smile, the time that the smile develops and the way it develops across the face. Mm -hmm.